Hey guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, my fingernails are blue because I dyed my hair blue recently. So today we're gonna do a tutorial how to turn plastic into wood. It's not real wood, it's just the faux wood, okay? So yeah, nothing magic here, it's just DIY painting. So this one I'm gonna use, okay, I've used a coin bag which I got from 168 mall it, I think it's just 30 pesos it's very affordable you can play with it and do whatever you want so for the paint I used three colors only so it's raw umber raw shanna and titanium white uh, the brand I used is Liquitex and for the brushes um, I used three types of brushes because I wasn't really sure how how the thing will end up and like what the texture would be so I just went along with it and just played with it so okay we're good now I actually researched first uh, the exact picture of the wood grain I wanted to follow so I ended up with these three colors I can create a perfect walnut shade that I really 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 like I actually cut up the top part of the coin bag so I can make it more functional into a decorative vase. Step 1. Make sure to apply primer first on the figure you want to paint. In my case, I just used titanium white as my primer because um, why not? YOLO! So using the darkest color you've selected, mine which is raw umber, I'm giving the figure a quick wash. You can actually see that it's quite messy, but remember that it's okay because we're yellowing. You only live once and everything will be fine in the end. Don't forget to make punas punas that mess you've created. We want to keep the paint as thin as possible per layer, and we are trying to create multiple layers that will serve as the background of the wood texture. It is really important to not apply thick paint. Like really, really do not apply too much acrylic paint so we can avoid snagging the layers down below. After every wipe down, wait for it to dry a bit then continue adding on two more layers following the same procedure. So how is everyone right now? We have a really stressful worldwide situation and the only thing that I can suggest to people to keep their sanity is to create art, try new things, Try every trendy coffee recipe you can find. Just don't be a bum and you can also study about stocks, cryptocurrency, or enroll in an online course. The funny thing about this tutorial is that it was just clips that I sent to my friend Robbie. So a quick shout out to Robbie, hello! So I decided to compile it because why not? We have all the time in the world right now. Unless you get hit by the virus and you don't know if you will live or die. Facing the realities of living in a third world country, again, YOLO, you only live once. This is just me doing what I want and what I want is to pass my knowledge to others while I still can. Ang tagal naman matapos nito. Paint, 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 paint. Paint, paint, paint. Paint, 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 paint. Paint. Okay, malapit na. Ayan na, punas punas. Step 2. Make sure all paint jobs from step 1 is dry. Then we can do a dry brush technique to create the first evident flowy pattern of the wood grain. Vertical strokes up and down or you can do horizontal strokes if you want. But please be consistent with your choice. The reason for this is because wood has only one grain direction, that is either vertical or horizontal. For the dry brushing part, make sure to just have a small dab of paint on the brush, like applying powder blush on your cheeks when doing makeup. This way, we can still maintain a very thin layer of paint on the figure to avoid paint cracks in the future. Step 3 Basically, the same as step 2. Dry brushing again. Muscle memory na lang ata yan by now, kaya kayang kaya nyo yan. Use the lighter brown color, which for my choice, it is raw shanna. This is your foreground color. 
Do it in very quick strokes like how you see me do it in this segment. I describe the strokes as the brushing sand and dirt away from a newly dug up archaeological site. The curvature of the figure itself will create automatic highlights as more paint stick to the parts protruding out, making the darker brown the shadows on the edges and the folds. If you feel that your brush has too much paint, you can wipe a bit of it on a piece of cloth. Step 4. Finalize the details of the wood grain using white paint and a smaller brush. You can go back with raw umber and raw shanna to create depth following your original brush stroke direction. Remember to draw loose lines to make it more natural. We are almost done. Konting push na lang. Yan, pak, ganda. Okay, when you feel like it's good to go, let it dry and spray it with fixative afterwards. We are finally done. So always remember to spend your time creating or learning something new. This is our time to improve ourselves. If you think this video is helpful and you want to learn more, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for painting with me.